Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first of the Portainer how-to webinar series. My name is Will Conquest, I am lead engineer at Portainer.io, and I will be teaching you how to use app templates. As someone newly starting Docker, there is prerequisite knowledge required to be able to deploy an application. At the bare minimum, you need to understand what a container is and how to deploy it. You may then look at stacks, which are small pieces such as a database or a proxy, grouped together into one overarching application. Once you know how to deploy a basic container or stack, you may then start thinking about how to configure them to be secure and resilient. However, Docker provides far too many configuration options. Too many for me to list here. This makes it hard for a user to get it right without in-depth knowledge and experience. As you can imagine, this can then be very overwhelming for a new user. So in response, we at Portana created app templates. So, what are app templates? To put it simply, app templates are templates for deploying applications using Docker. The basic premise of app templates is that a user can choose an app template from the list, click deploy, and that's it. Thanks to some behind the scenes magic, the application is deployed on Docker. I'll be demoing this in the next section. Why are they useful? App templates are a way to abstract the previously mentioned complexity away from a user so that they can focus on what is important, deploying their application. With just a few clicks, app templates can deploy entire applications, which increases productivity. This is beneficial in DevOps, for example, as it can simplify and streamline very repetitive tasks. By using app templates, users don't have to worry about ensuring the security and resiliency of a deployed application. This is handled by the creator of the app template. By design, app templates are stored in a JSON file. Using external templates, you can maintain templates somewhere with version control such as GitHub, or serve it from a private server using a Docker container, which would track changes in the file for example. The templates then would automatically update inside Portainer as changes are made to the file being served. Now the big question, how do they work? App templates are stored in a JSON file. Portainer reads this and shows the contents of this file in the UI as a list, inside the app templates view. When a user deploys a template, Portainer takes the content of that template, as well as any input from the user, and translates this into commands that Docker can understand. When creating the app templates feature, we introduce some example templates to get people started. These are not currently maintained, however there are plans to update them in the near future. You may have noticed there are stack templates and container templates. As the name suggests, stack templates deploy stacks and container templates deploy containers. Some points to note here. When managing a swarm endpoint, Portana will show you swarm stack templates. These are templates created for use on a Docker swarm and will deploy a stack from a stack file. Conversely, when managing a standalone endpoint, Portana will display composed stack files, which will deploy a composed stack from a composed file. A container template simply deploys a single container from a Docker image. These different templates are all stored together inside the same templates file. The remainder of this webinar will be demos. As you can see here, we'll be covering deploying an app template, customizing an app template, creating a template, and external templates. Now we move on to our next section, deploying an app template. This will be our first demo. Here we can see a WordPress stack template. This will deploy a WordPress instance with a MySQL database connected. Spinning this up is simple. First we fill in a name for our stack for management inside Portainer. Next, this template requires a database root password for security reasons, so we'll set this something simple like Portainer. Next we click deploy. Docker will now go and deploy WordPress and MySQL. Thanks to the previously mentioned behind the scenes magic, everything is taken care of. Since I'm managing a Docker Swarm endpoint, I've deployed a stack template. As such, Docker has deployed them as services. As you can see here. Looking at our WordPress service, we can see that Docker has gone and assigned a random port to WordPress. This is because by default, we don't set one in our provider template. This will bring me to my next topic, how to customize an app template. Continuing on from the previous example, we want to set what port WordPress is published on. As some context, I have gone and forked the Portato repository for app templates using the fork button here. 
next I've gone and made a change to the stack file to give it a default port to be published on for WordPress. If we now choose to go back inside app templates inside Portainer, we can now click update on this WordPress template and fill out my account name. Here we are customizing a WordPress template to have a new source of its stack file. If we now choose to deploy the stack, call it for example my stack2, give it the same password as before, and deploy this stack, we should now see that the services have the new port we've defined published on them without having to define this in the template. So now we go to services, and indeed this new service has port 86 published on it. We can confirm this by navigating to it and see that WordPress is showing the init screen. Now we move on to the next section of this demonstration, creating a template, and this will be working with a container template. So we'll move over to Portana in the app templates view and click add a template. The first thing that's required is a title and you're also required to give it a description. Next, you're required to give it an image. Here is one I prepared earlier. And optionally, I'm going to set ports for the container template to publish. This means I'll be taking port 80 from this container and publishing that to 82. This is important in the next step. As you can see now, Portana has gone and created the template at the bottom of the container templates list. Now we can click deploy and deploy this container. You can see here this container image and the port that we chose to publish, 82. We'll click on this now and it has loaded up in the browser. For the next section of this demonstration, I'll be talking about external templates and I'll be using GitHub and in particular my templates repository. Another powerful feature of app templates is external templates. If configured, Portana will fetch templates from an external source such as GitHub, and these are kept in sync in Portana with that source. This allows you to set version control on your templates and prevent your users from modifying them if you wish. Returning to the root of the templates repository, you can see that we have templates.json and templates pre 1.20.0.json files. Note here that I have updated templates.json to support Portana versions 1.20.0 and newer, and the other file is for older versions of Portana. Make sure to keep this separate in your mind from the official Portana templates repository, as the files in that repository are the other way around. Templates.json is for older versions of Portana. There are two ways you can provide a templates.json file to Portana via URL in the settings view of the UI, or by providing the file or URL in the command used to start Portana. First, we will navigate to the settings view and enable the external templates toggle. Next, we will get the URL of the file we want to fetch the templates from. In this case, I'll use the URL of the raw templates.json file in my GitHub repository. If we now paste this URL in and click Save Settings, we can confirm that the URL has been saved. If we now navigate to app templates, you will see that there is no update or delete button shown. This confirms that external app templates are active. Another way to use external templates is to provide a templates.json URL or the path to the templates.json file in the command used to start Portana. Moving over to the terminal, I'm going to just specify a command with the templates flag. And as you can see, I have specified in this flag the URL to the templates.json file hosted on my GitHub repository. We'll hit enter and deploy that container. Next, we'll move over to Portainer and initialize the admin user. Then we'll navigate to app templates, and as you can see, the delete and update buttons are missing, meaning that the external templates have successfully been loaded into Portainer. The other way to provide external templates to Portainer in the command used to start it is through the use of the template file flag. Now we'll go back to the terminal and we'll paste in the command we'll be using. As you can see here, I am by mounting the local templates GitHub repository into the container 
So now the container can find that templates.json file with the template file flag. And I'll hit enter to start Portainer, and we'll move over to Portainer and initialize the admin user. Then we'll go to app templates, and here you can see the test app template that I've created inside that file I loaded into the Portainer container. This confirms that the app templates has been loaded. You'll note that the update and delete buttons are still available to you. A limitation of this method I've just shown you is that once Portainer has loaded the templates, it saves them in its database. So any changes you make in this UI, you're not actually saving the changes to the file, you're saving the changes to the templates.json file in the database. So there's no syncing between the file on your local machine and the file inside the container. And this concludes our webinar. We'll move back to the slideshow, and this last slide has all of the resources I used for this webinar. Feel free to go through these in your own time.